Today, I'm going to be setting up for another week in my fitness and wellness bullet journal. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, welcome. My name is Tracy and I am a girl with plans. Yes, we are back in my fitness and wellness journal and I will be setting up and decorating for the week of May the 20th. So I'm only in this journal for like another, what, four or five weeks before I move to my daily planner. And I will say, I think this is prepping me pretty well to move into a daily planner for my fitness and wellness tracking. I'll be giving you a sneak peek of that coming up in June, just kind of walking you through what I'm thinking about. Um, but I will not move into that until July. All right, so today, <laughs> today you might have already seen, I have washi here. Um, I think this washi may have come from Planner Kate, I think. So I have this washi, which may give you an idea that I wanna do this sticker sheet today. It has some boxes, so I'm gonna probably use some of those. It's paper. Um, and then I also have some of these decorative elements that is um, on clear, so it will show the lines behind it. I do have another lemon set on here, but I've already used the paper set, so I have this one. And this one gives me a little bit more decor, and being I'm decorating, what, nine spreads? <laughs> I need all the decor I can get. Now, let me not set that aside. I've already pulled out some of my other functional stickers. I do have my stamps because, like I said, I will not be stamping in my planner probably come July. So, I'm getting all the stamping I can do. I have my little inks. I think I'm going to go with blue and the washi. So, I showed you this washi and I also have this washi. I think I might do some waterfall like pages. I might like cut some of these so you can actually see the week. You can see that this is for an entire week. I don't know if I'm going to do this page or not. I might just do these. So this will be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I think that may be what I'll do because then I can do washi here. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. Never mind. I had to think about it. <laughs> All right. Um, and then my first page will be my goals page. I'll show you. So I'm filming this on Wednesday. And look, y'all, so I haven't filled out the workout because I haven't done a workout today. But y'all, I've worked out both Monday and Tuesday this week. Go me. Um, so here are my goals for last week um, or the current week that I'm in. And I kind of like the goals, so I might keep them the same. I guess these are more action steps than goals. So I think I'm going to keep them the same. Basically for fitness, what I have been doing is just kind of breaking down the workouts that I want to get done that week. I'm trying to be a little bit more intentional and specific. So that way I can make sure that I am adding variety to my workout while actually starting to work out. Because this is probably the first week on, yes, I'm only three days in, but I've been doing some little bit. I did a body combat class, y'all. So I'm, I'm kind of amping it up a little bit. Back to where I was like pre-March. Um, <laughs> and the nutrition has not been good this week. We'll just even ignore that. But I am going to probably put this down for next week with a little bit of a leeway because my birthday's next week. Then we have Memorial Day weekend next week. So I'm going to have to kind of be a little creative with that. And then vitamins is going to stay the same. I just need to take them. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to have a weekly action step. I like doing it per week here. Um, I think it just kind of helps me stay a little bit more on track, especially when it comes to the fitness type area because I can kind of see where I'm going. And then I'll do a weekly wrap up. This is the weekly summary page, which I did two weeks ago now or a week ago from filming. Yeah, so I do fill it out. I needed to color it, but I wrote my stress level there. All right, so let's kind of go ahead and get started, which means I'll have to cut this page, but I'm not going to cut it that much. All right, so yeah, we'll do this here. Or, hold up, yeah, maybe... 
So in order to do waterfall tabs, what you do is you cut each page a little bit shorter so you can see the page behind it. That's kind of the concept. So it kind of makes it a little cute. I am gonna have to start with this page though, cause I'm gonna wanna decorate this side so that way the cut pages, when you flip it this way, you can see it. So while this is still have the theme, um, it's gonna look a little bit different. All right, so what I'm going to do I just figured being I'm in a bullet journal and I'm doing an entire weekly spread, I can have a little bit more fun when it comes to things like this versus some of the other ones like my currently journal and things like that where like my monthly spread is like one page or I maybe mean, well two pages like a two page spread. So I really can't get but so creative. So right now this is the only one that I can be a little creative with. I guess if you go like, oh no, you just can't see it. Paper is so thick. I was like, wait a minute. All right, so I don't really know how much to cut off. I'm kind of eyeballing it. I'm just hoping I'm going to be straight. So I'm going to line it up with the top because sometimes when I line it up up there, it just doesn't stay straight for some reason. All right. Voila. Now I'm thinking we do this. Of course you can see. That's the only bad thing about the lined washi is you can see it through here. That's okay. I could probably double it up. I don't even know if that'll work. I mean the lined paper, not the lined washi. The lined paper, you can see the lines through it, but whatever. We're not trying to be perfectionists here. We're just trying to get all these spreads done <laughs> and have a little fun while doing it. Okay. And I am gonna chat a little bit about how this is all working for me and why, why, why I do think the the daily layout is going to work just as well for me as well. Okay. This is where it gets difficult because I'm like, where, like how much do I cut off now? I don't know. So this one, I don't really care if I see like all of it. I just mainly care that you see some of it, but it looks like maybe, maybe around in here. All right, so we need a, maybe we can probably do a little bit more than that. All right, so this is gonna be kind of my gauge to do it maybe twice that. All right, that's it. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna do for the waterfall pages. So let me cut off all of this. I'll shape it because it's curved edges, but I just, this is in the way now. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put what I'm gonna put on this side, on this side. I might put the same washi here. So that way it'll like, when you, well, you actually won't see it, but at least like right here, I want you to be able to see what's behind it. So actually I only need to do that one. Okay. Thinking out loud, thinking out loud. All right. So we want to use some, something florally <laughs> to go here and here.
So basically the whole point was to make it so when I flip this page, it doesn't look so bare. So I wanted to fill that in and then I just wanted to kind of mimic all of that. All right, so what am I gonna do over here? Let's go ahead and start setting up for, I'm gonna use these boxes here. Um, I'm not sure if this sticker book is still available. If it is, I will have it linked down in the description box. But like I said, I'm not 100% sure. It is an older one, but it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. All right, let's see, let's see. Let's not try to do too many things at once, Tracy. Just focus on the one page at hand. Okay, so I only need three of these boxes. Do we want this one here? All right, so there we go. I kind of already told you guys I was pretty much gonna keep vitamins the same. Nutrition is pretty much the same. I did add an extra strength day because I count bar as strength. I've been doing like Les Mills bar and that definitely <laughs> feels like strength. So I upped it from two to three. Um, keeping two cardio because some of these strength track classes kind of do double as cardio. And then I added three stretch. Um, nutrition is prep lunches, healthy snacks, and balanced meals. Um, I needed to keep it basic because, like I said, next week is kind of a little weird one. And then vitamins have been the same. All right, so here we go. Now we're going to get to the week. So for this one, I have my little stickers. I found these. Um, I think these are a little cut, a little weird, but I don't care. I need to use them. These are cut a little bit better. All right, so I don't know if I want to do box stickers. I don't feel like, like here, so we're on, like here I kind of filled it up, but I don't know that I needed to fill, the, fill it up. I kind of like made it a point to fill it up by putting information in it. So I'm not sure if I need to do all of that. But I'm not going to be using boxes in my, in my daily. So let's go ahead and use boxes. Don't you love how I just change those decisions? Let's see. Do we have yellow in this one? Yes. So we have yellow and we have blue. All right. <laughs> my whole desk is now surrounded by boxes. <laughs> So I'm just going to start, let's actually start with blue. Sorry, I want to make sure you can't see it. So then here we'll do that and that all right let's chat while i'm doing this so this is working out so well for me guys so well it is it i'm kind of like i for me I've always said, wait a minute, it's not the 19th, it's the 20th, right? 
Yes. Um, I've always said like I can pretty much make any planner work when it comes to fitness tracking just because of how, you know, I've been using multiple planners to make it work pretty much. Oh my gosh, do I not have? Oh, I guess I should have been using these. Um, like I've been using multiple planners for a while. Um, I have been using four, <laughs> really three for tracking. And then I had an extra vertical and I'm like, oh, let me track my meals using this. So you can say I've been using four planners for my weekly fitness and wellness tracking before I started going in this. And while I was able to put them all together, like the whole week together, so I had my fitness and then you would flip and you would have wellness and then you would flip and you know because I did like front and back versus a two-page spread for a lot of it so it did work really well <laughs> however the flipping still kind of caused issues I mean it didn't cause issues it just if I was on like writing in my workout sometimes I would like not always go to the health section you know it's so easy to just flip to the health section. But did I always do it? Nope, sure didn't. Um, no reason, no excuse, just something that I just didn't do. So um, that's kind of why I figured I would try to do some of this more daily tracking versus, I need my tweezers versus how I was doing it previously. And this is working so well because everything is on one page. So I can literally just leave this open if I want to. And it's small enough that I can. Now, when I do go to my daily planner um, come July, it's gonna be bigger than this. But, you know, I could, and like I can come in, write it, and then everything's in front of me. So if I don't, if I forget to write in this when I wake up, like even though I track my wake up and stuff like that, let's say I forget because let's say I do. I always do. Let's not even, let's not even joke. Um, at least when I go to write in my workout or like log my food for my lunch or whatever, then everything is here in front of me. So it makes it a lot easier to do it because yes, all I had to do was flip the page in my other planner, but sometimes I just didn't do it. Whether or not it slipped my mind or whether or not I was just laser focused, only trying to do the one thing that I was like, if I was just sitting down trying to write down my workout stats and then after I did that I was done <laughs> it just is a lot easier plus it's just I like the fact of just being able to look at it on one page versus having a flip to kind of see everything so yes this is working very very well for me um like I said I am moving back into a planner but it's still going to show everything on one page all right so we have these. I am not going to track my carbs and macros. I'm not going to track my macros next week. I have not been good at it, so I'm not even going to pretend. Um, stamping. I'm also not going to be tracking my water because I don't need to. I'm pretty good when it comes to water. I have really big water bottles, like 32 ounces, and I, I drink those pretty much throughout the day. Um, the only problem is I know I have to go into the office and I'm going, like I'm working at another site next week and that might be problematic as far as water goes. I'm not sure of the water situation there. <laughs> it's not my office. So I don't know if they have water coolers, if I need to bring bottled water, and then if I bring my 32 ounce water, is that the only water I'm gonna have that day? So I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll figure that out once I get to it. All right, I'm just going to do this here. Oh, I guess I could have done that there too, couldn't I? And then I'm going to speed up the rest as I always do. because this video has been pretty long. But yeah, so basically bottom line is I do really enjoy having everything on one page for my fitness and my wellness and not separating my fitness from my wellness, if that makes any sense. I really like it. I think it just, 
it makes it easier for filling out. It makes it easier when I go to kind of look back at the week and see how I did. Because in all honesty, fitness and wellness do go hand in hand. Um, so yeah. Do you have a wipe over here? So yeah, this is working really well. It's working better than I thought. Um, I do feel a little guilty switching things up when I have like so many happy planners, but gotta do what works for you. And some of those happy planners can be used for other purposes. Most of them were undated anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so I think that's it that I need to track, which means I don't know if I want to add too much more because... Oh, I didn't do the battery over there. Um, like, I don't know if I need more decorations over here. <laughs> Just because... I have all of this going on. I wish this bird was over here because that would look cool. I don't have anywhere to really put it over there. Let's put this guy down here. Let's go ahead and make him flat. It's just easier to cut these. When you're working sometimes in a bullet journal, if you can cut it before you put it on the page. It makes life so much easier. <laughs> I don't have to worry about cutting it here. All right, so I'll put that there. I just need something there. Maybe I'll use the second set and put those there. Okay, cute. All right, so for what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna have as much room to decorate over here, um, but we're gonna make it work. So here I'm gonna put this. And then I want the blue sticker. All right, so yeah, so this is working really, really well as far as just the daily. So I do think until I start tracking a little bit less things, less when it comes to health and fitness, I do think a daily layout does work well for me, whether it be in a notebook, a journal, or a planner. So yeah, that's kind of the bottom line as far as what's working. Um, as I mentioned while I was talking about my goals, my eating habits are not working well. Um, I do plan on getting them back on track. Um, can't get them back on track till after my birthday because, you know, your girl got to have some birthday cupcakes. <laughs> my mom won two dozen cupcakes a few weeks ago and she was like, oh, well, I just won't get them until your birthday. So I don't know what we're going to do with two dozen cupcakes. I mean, I'm sure someone else will help us eat them, but that just means I'm going to have some cupcakes in my future. So I don't want to like start eating healthy again until there's cup. And of course, I don't try to eat perfect. Like I don't go like, oh, you can't have any sweets. Eventually, I would like to like cut out sweets, but I do feel like I might need to do something similar to that at the beginning because <laughs> I almost feel like I need to kind of go through a detox type thing. All right, I think this needs to go here. No, this is, okay. Because I cut it off, I think I need to go, let's use everything. I don't need all the space, but I still want to use all the space. Yeah, so my eating is the one thing, like I said, I think I'm finally getting back on track with working out. Um... I spoke before about how I am loving, I love on-demand workouts. I used to love going to the gym. I really do. But it has, <laughs> you know, it has been a little difficult. I hope. I'm definitely not doing these like in order, but that's okay. Um, but I, I do pretty good as far as, I'd probably get a better workout when I go to the gym, even if I do the same type of class, just because you know, when you're at the gym, you don't like when like I take like a body, like take body pump. I'll like slack up sometimes when I'm at home, <laughs> take a little bit of a pause, miss a rep just because I'm like, oh, I need to take catch my breath. At the gym, I don't do that. I just go through. I just keep 
pressing on and it's fine. Like I didn't really need to take the break. It was like more mental than anything else. <laughs> so that's the only difference. But um, yeah, so I have Les Mills on demand so I can still do the workouts that I used to love taking at the gym. I can now do them at home. And they have such good workouts. So I do love bar workouts. Um, I have, so I have Les Mills on demand and I have um, Exponential Plus on demand. And that is the company that owns a lot of those like boutique type gyms that are popping up. Like the Pure Bar, Yoga 6, um, Row House. There's a whole bunch of other ones. And they have an app that's on demand. And on their app, you have access to all of those classes. Now, it's not as many. They only put, like, a new class on, like, every week or every two weeks. I ha haven't quite figured out how frequent it is. Um, but, like, I've taken their bar classes, and they're fun. But they do not get me burning, like, a good Les Mills bar. I don't know what it is. I think it's just because Les Mills is all about, like, reps. They are, they just rep you out. <laughs> um, like, I can barely walk after doing a Les Mills bar class. That's why I was saying that, like, when I'm talking about my weekly strength trainings, I am counting bar because my legs will sometimes hurt just as bad as if I did legs like a leg strength workout i don't know how this got so crooked so yeah but then you know i love body combat it's like one of my favorite finally did another body combat class it had been so long since i did body combat um i'm hoping that's just a hot mess i'm leaving it because i'm just done <laughs> um i'm hoping to like get into some other Type of classes they have a lot of different strength classes now they have so many good strength classes on their app it's like um one that is more like heavy lifting lower reps oh why am i doing another wednesday <laughs> see that's why i can't chat and do this and then they have like a tone type class where you do like more body weight type strength and then of course they have like a core class where you use like bands and stuff like that um they used to call it like cx works but they change it to core now but even though it says core where did i do with my dates here it is um core is everything between your neck and knees <laughs> So it is still like heavily glute focused and everything like that. So I consider it still a strength training workout. So there we go. All right, I'm gonna stamp everything later, but now that I'm not really adding that much when it comes to stamps, I think I'm going to add the decorations. Yeah, so definitely because I'm kind of finding a, a renewed love for body pump I mean for Les Mills in general and all of those classes I think my workout game is gonna hopefully get back on point all right let me all right so uh, this video is taking way too long so I'm gonna speed it up I'm gonna try to find the did I take it out did not. Okay, so I'm gonna try to use these up. Then I'm gonna use these. I'm gonna throw some, dec you know, some decorative stuff over here. Um, I'm gonna stamp it. You'll see everything, and then I'll just come back at the end and wrap the video up as always. Um, so yeah, let's put the music on, DJ.
All right, you guys, there we go. So here's my weekly actions for the week. Here's Monday and Tuesday. You can see here the waterfall edges where I cut each page a little bit shorter than the one after. So that way you can see all of the washi behind it. So then you flip this one over and we have Wednesday, Thursday. See, I put the washi matching on the side. That is just so bad. I almost feel like I need to put a sticker there and then restamp it. All right, <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, you can see how the washi matches. Then we have the yellow washi, Friday, Saturday. This page is not as full, but that's okay. Like I said, I definitely want to leave some space in case I have anything else to add. Even though these are a little purplish, I try to not add any of the other colors. I try to stick to mainly the blues and the yellows. And then finally, we have Sunday, and then we have my weekly wrap-up. So there we go, guys. That is my fitness and wellness bullet journal set up for the week of May the 20th. Again, I use stickers from Fruits and Florals from Live La Posh, as well as rainbow boxes from Mojo Dojo Plants. If these are still available, I will have them linked down in the description box. Always remember that I do have discount codes for both of these shops, which is AGWP10. We'll save you 10%. I always have all that information down in the description box as well. All right, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed these videos. They are a little bit longer because there's just a lot of spreads to decorate, um, but I do hope you enjoy them. Like I said, we only have about another five weeks left of me doing these bullet journal style spreads for my fitness and wellness planner or tracker so we only have a couple more videos to go through um but if you enjoyed it please smash that like button and if you haven't subscribed i really would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing all right guys i hope you have a good rest of your day evening or night until next time bye